Welcome to the Bird Collections at the Delaware Museum of Natural History. I'm Director of Collections and Curator of Birds, Dr. Jean Woods. The bird collections here at the museum contain 113,000 specimens of birds. They're prepared as study skins, as skeletons, and as eggs. Uh, these specimens are from all over the world. We have a lot of specimens from Philippines, from Mexico, from the United States. And we're the only bird collection in Delaware, so obviously we have a lot of specimens from Delaware in our collections that many other, other museums won't have in their collections. This is a specimen of, of toucan that is um, from Mexico. And so you can see this has got this, what's cool about toucans is that they've got these really big bills with all of this bright color on them. This is a bird from Europe and Africa, um, and it's got super cool plumage, and it's got a really fabulous bill. This is the great gray owl. This is the largest owl that we find in North America. Uh, they live in the extreme far north of Canada. This is a bird many of you may be familiar with. This is the Eastern Bluebird. They're very beautiful, uh, blue, blue on the back, rusty on the bottom. This is a bird that lives in this area and many people may know it because it nests in uh, a bluebird boxes and people have done a great job putting up bluebird boxes to help, uh, uh, help this species increase. It was uh, uh, becoming kind of rare about 40 or 50 years ago. So every museum has a different history and so then the specimens in their collections are all slightly different. So one of the unique things about our collection here is that we have 36,000 clutches of eggs. This is the second largest collection of eggs in North America. And in fact, those eggs are mostly from Europe where egg collecting was a really popular hobby. The collections here at the museum are used in a wide variety of different types of research. Some of the original research that was done using specimens and collections was a, to answer a really very basic question, what are all the different species of birds? So that's how collections were often built initially. And there are still a few new bird species being described every year generally from very remote areas in Africa and South America. So uh, a lot of research in collections is, is sort of working to reconstruct the bird family tree to understand how evolution works. And this helps us understand as the environment changes, you know, how the species that we know today uh, might change into the future. So the traditional way of preserving birds is the study skin, but that leaves out one of the main parts of a bird, which are its bones. So as researchers became more interested in studying the skeletons of birds, that led us to start preparing more of our specimens as birds instead of study skins. So this box has all of the bones of one individual, and this in this case is a uh, great horned owl. And you can see here, this is uh, the classic skull of an owl. And you can see, you know, the sharp bill for helping it uh, catch its prey and then the really big cavities here where the eyes go because of course everybody knows that owls have really large eyes. So one of the problems with for researchers with the study skins is that you cannot open the wing to see the details of all of the feathers. So one of the new techniques that we started in the 1990s was preparing wings that are spread out like this and you can see both the top and the bottom. One of the other things that we take into account is all of the new technologies that have arisen over the last 10 or 20 years. So scientists are now able to analyze DNA um, and many of our specimens were collected even before DNA was discovered. So now when we prepare a specimen, we'll take a, t a sample of muscle tissue and we'll preserve it in, in ethanol in a freezer. And that provides a sample of DNA that researchers can use for genetic analysis. So uh, my interest in birds is long-standing. My mother was a bird watcher. And so that's where I got my interest in birds. And so when I went to college, I uh, got a degree in biology. And then when I finished that degree, I decided that I wanted, I really was interested in research. And that led me to pursue uh, a degree in uh, biology, a PhD. And so my advisor was one of the curators there. And so then uh, during my career there as a graduate student, I became familiar with the collections. I learned about the collections and then fortunately, when I was ready to uh, look for a job, there was a bird curator position open here at the Delaware Museum of Natural History, and here I am.